Alrighty, mates, welcome back to Klepto Stash, where we review the best of the best applications, extensions, add-ons, and services. And uh, speaking of a service that I love, absolutely love, that is AirVPN at AirVPN.org. And uh, speaking of which, and why you should even use a VPN? Why should you use AirVPN? Let's break that down, shall we? Surf anonymously, protection against snoopers, data miners, and privacy intrusive entities such as alphabet government organizations. Hide your IP, get a new IP address so that nobody can discover your identity through it. No monitoring nor logging of your activities online. Yes, that's right. Perfect forward secrecy. Yes, perfect forward secrecy. Through the Diffie Hellman Key Exchange DHE, after the initial key negotiation. Rekeying is performed every 60 minutes, and this value can be changed. And now uh, what this does is, it's uh, the session key is changed every 60 minutes. So uh, some uh, douchebag uh, local neighbor, nosy neighbor, looking at your w Wi-Fi data, possibly trying to decrypt it by looking on Google to learn how to do it. Well, even let's say by some miracle he does it. Well, he's not going to be able to look at your entire data stream. He's going to be looking at chunks. Uh, and those chunks can be changed by you. Whether it's every 60 minutes, every 30 minutes, or every 5 minutes. It doesn't matter. Speaking of which, additional connection types supported by every AirVPN server for ISPs or countries disrupting OpenVPN traffic, such as the Great Firewall of China. Uh... AirVPN over SSH and AirVPN over SSL. These are excellent because what they do, they encapsulate your your encrypted traffic, so it's doubly encrypted, and that way it defeats uh, your local ISP's deep packet inspection, and it ends up making your traffic look just like a regular SSH or SSL traffic, like you're you know browsing the web over um, a HTTPS. Uh, also has some great encryption. Stay protected with the, the security offered by high-level encryption 4096-bit RSA key size AES 256 CBC data channel and HMAC SHA-1 control channel and uh, after the uh, heart bleed debacle they really upped their game as far as encryption and really key exchanges and such make it impossible to identify the type of traffic or protocol you are using even for your ISP. That is definitely needed. Connect to any wireless network without risking data eavesdropping between your computer and the Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, let's say you're hanging out at Starbucks and uh, you're buying your uh, $7 cup of coffee and the guy next to you is uh, sniffing your traffic, downloading your cookies, and uh, let's say you're some idiot using PayPal over, <laughs> over Wi-Fi. And it's not your Wi-Fi. You're at Starbucks. <clears throat> Starbucks. And uh, they see everything you're doing. Unless you're using a VPN or unless you're using IPsec or something similar. So, uh, VPN's definitely needed. And uh, I definitely recommend it. Defeat restrictions. They have their own uh, DNS servers based on root servers. So you don't have to worry about anything there. No DNS leakage. Uh, they have port forwarding and DDNS, so that way BitTorrent, uh, Emu, Emu, who the hell uses Emu anymore? Or anything else, you know, basically P2P is going to work. Uh, geolocation routing, hey, I want to use that BBC iPlayer to, to watch uh, Sherlock Holmes or maybe Doctor Who. Well, hey, you can do that because they have UK servers. Or let's say you want to watch Hulu or Crunchyroll, you can use a US server. That way, you are anywhere you want to be. Let's say uh, you live in some podunk town, and uh, in the sticks somewhere, and you want to shop on Newegg or Amazon. But you know that depending on where you live, you're going to get a hose as far as pricing. Let's say you use a VPN, and that VPN says you're in Chicago, Illinois. You're in the big city, where you got electronic stores all around you. You're going to get a better price. It's been proven whether you're buying tech, stuff, or you're buying a hotel room, or you're buying airline tickets, you're going to get a better price depending on where you live and the time you buy it. 
So a, a, a VPN is also necessary for that as well to get a better deal. And a, why open VPN? No traffic limit, no time limit, access to all exit nodes, three simultaneous connections per account. That's right. You, your wife, and your girlfriend, you can all be on VPN connecting to each other. <clears throat> Unlimited and free server switches, no maximum speed limit. It depends only on the server load. Minimum allocation granted bandwidth. This is minimum. 4 megabit down, 4 megabit up. I normally get almost max pipe uh, with Air VPN, except for a little bit less because I'm using uh, an SSH or SSL tunnel, and that has a, l a little bit of overhead, so you're not going to get full pipe on that one. Every protocol is welcome, including P2P, forwarded ports, and DDNS to optimize your software transparent policies and, and a really good privacy policy thank God for that um, they do use standard and non-standard ports so you can use it as you please it, it, you can use it over proxy you can use it over Tor they do have high performance services uh, servers not services servers in many countries uh, fully compliant no issues there API it does accept Bitcoin and PayPal that's nice Bitcoin <clears throat> uh, and uh, to check it out man just for one day it's a buck a euro buck God in, in US dollars it's got to be a hundred dollars really seriously I've done the math uh, for one month it's seven euros um, but it does accept Bitcoin and uh, PayPal and Visa MasterCard etc etc and uh, but let's uh, get into the software itself they recently released a Linux GUI client for Air VPN. You can take a look right here. Um, it, you, really, you log into it like you would log into the website itself, and you have a list of all the servers. You get all the stats, server stats. You get the speed stats over time. Um, you can configure it just like you configure a regular Open VPN config. You can change everything. Get a nice little server list. Uh, you can blacklist servers, whitelist servers. That way you can connect to the server you want automatically as soon as you start it up. You got your non-standard ports, whether you want to connect over Tor or SSL, SSH. Uh, Eddy, which they call their client, is uh, currently released for Windows, Linux, and the OS, OS X version just came out, so they haven't updated their page. Um, and uh, check it out, airvpn.org. And uh, since the, uh, the heart bleed debacle, they have really upped their game as far as security on their own machines and, and what you're getting as well and made some really great changes and uh, I say check them out I've done the due diligence on these guys and they're a great bun a bunch of uh, net activists and uh, you should check them out too at airvpn.org I'll have some more videos coming soon and some more um, videos where you can see my ugly mug uh, as soon as I work out the details so I've been klepto and you've been cool and uh, hey, you want to hang out sometime? Go to the Linux distro community chat room on Freenode. You can catch me there as Kleptos. Take it easy.